guys, Cam Photopix, and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about what you can use as a DIY reflector and diffuser, uh, rather than carry one of these. But I always carry this about with me. If I don't carry this, then I carry a, a much bigger one, uh, a 5 in 1, uh, which is one of these. A gold and silver reflector. Now I use this all the time for doing portrait work, getting some light fill light under the, the chin or at the side, or for macro work where I want to just shine a wee bit of light comes in so handy. Uh, you get the bigger ones, uh, which are gold and silver, uh, black and white, and a diffused panel, basically that kind of diffuses the light going through. Now if you can't afford any of these uh, and you're starting off like I did, and I still use these today if I've not got a lot uh, of space or if I'm out and I've, I'm caught short, is if, say if you're in the house and you don't have soft boxes everywhere uh, set up and you don't have the money for that, maybe you've got just a, a normal desk lamp, then a great thing to diffuse the light is you can either use like a kitchen roll placed over uh, just a couple of centimetres away so it doesn't burn, that will diffuse the light, or even better, grease proof paper. A sheet or two sheets of grease proof paper will diffuse the light and give a nice softer uh, glow of light on your subject rather than a harsh light from a lamp. Also if you want to use something like a reflector and you don't have the money to, is what I've used in the past is like a cereal box or an A4 flyer, a A4 a folder, sorry, and just cover it in tin foil, and then basically you have an A4 reflector that you can reflect the light. And as you can see, as I'm doing here, the different types of light that's hitting my face. And the same here, you can see it reflecting off there and there. Uh, so yeah, I always carry it about. Uh, I've, always, I've actually got it in my, my kit bag at the moment. I've got about three foot of greaseproof paper and about three foot of uh, tin foil. And if you don't have tin foil, then the kind of uh, uh, recovery shelters that you get for like, when people do the marathon, they get given them to cover themselves to keep the heat in. They are perfect for using as a reflector. They're so light and they fold up and you don't even notice that you've got them in your bag and they come in so handy. So that's my wee tip on DIY on reflectors. I hope that's some help to someone. Cheers.